Scuba diving. What's scarier than getting disoriented and lost in the deep, dark ocean? How about encountering one of these creatures from hell? This deep sea nightmare is called the Goblin Shark, and it's got some nasty surprises to spring at you. How dangerous are those horrific teeth? How do goblin sharks hunt their prey? And could you be their next victim? Take a deep breath. We're diving into dark waters to meet your worst nightmare, the goblin shark. With its long snout, sharp, jagged teeth, and a complexion like golems, the goblin could be the most grotesque shark. You are ugly when you're angry. They're named after mythical goblins from Japanese folklore and live at depths of 270 to 960 meters near the coasts of Japan, Tasmania, and even California. And if you think there is something almost prehistoric about its monstrous appearance, you are right. Goblin sharks are often called living fossils. Their family, the Mitsukurinidae, has been around for at least 125 million years. Weighing as much as 210 kilograms and growing up to six meters in length, goblins are less muscular than other sharks. Their bodies are soft and flabby. You can see their veins through their pinkish white skin. And if those tiny eyes on that oversized snout have not creeped you out yet, wait till you see this. Yep, this shark can extend its jaw out by as much as 0.3 meters or one foot. That's 9.4% of its body length. Up to 115 terrifying teeth fight for room in its mouth. Elastic bands of skin tissue folded under these teeth allow the shark to whip its jaw out at an incredible 3.1 meters per second. That's longer and faster than any other shark. But why would a shark need its jaws to operate at such impressive speed? Well, this mighty predator of the deep has an embarrassingly slow swimming speed of 20 kilometers per hour. <laughs> a leatherback sea turtle can swim twice as fast as a goblin shark. Extendable jaws increase the shark's chances of catching even the most elusive squids and crustaceans. Those and bony fish make up most of its diet. This shark prefers softer food to keep all its precious teeth intact. They're less than one centimeter across, so the goblin's teeth break pretty easily. You needn't worry about turning into prey for this fragile tooth shark. That's a relief. I'm gonna have nightmares, you know. Sometimes younger goblin sharks swim closer to the surface, but their teeth are even smaller than a fully grown shark's. As goblin sharks grow older, their snouts shrink, their skin gets pinker, and they move into deeper waters. So how do they manage to find their prey in the dark? Their snouts contain special organs called ampullae of Lorenzini. With their help, these goblins can detect electric fields created by other fish in the darkness of the deep oceans. The goblin shark is one of the rarest and deepest dwelling species, but human garbage affects their chance of surviving. Goblin sharks often eat the garbage that finds its way to the bottom of the ocean, and younger goblins sometimes end up as bycatch. There have also been isolated reports of people trophy hunting goblin sharks for their jaws. Yeesh. Sharks help keep the ecosystem in balance, and there's a lot more humans can learn from them. We cover that in another episode. Having extendable jaws and snapping them faster than any other shark is what goblin sharks do. And that's why they're crazy creatures.